Hey mates, we've got a great game for you today. Game three, very, very tactical game, and um, I ended up blundering at the end, and he had a checkmate, and I don't know how he didn't see it, um, but let's get into it. Very solid play all around, though. You have another Polish. But it's different from game two because this is a Polish um, Birmingham Gambit. Opponents taking a while to think. Okay. The reason I didn't play the a1 is because my bishop's not in position to retake the rook. So that's why I didn't play a4. And again, I want to control the c6 square. That's why I declined the gambit. There are lines where it's likely or half the time I'd say, at this rating, the opponent will take. And if you play the bishop up after you take, they take, you can win a rook. But it didn't happen that way, so... So I have two pawns. On the outside. I think try to get my rook to c1. We'll see how this game plays though. He develops his knight. I was thinking of pushing the f file right away, but I decide against it. Centralizes his pawn. Now I think I'm thinking about putting this knight on this square, preparing for d4. Instead, I think this knight goes. And the reason is, is it prevents him from playing d4. And if I, if I left the knight there and I played this knight, he could have pushed d4. And it just would have been scary. I didn't want that situation. So, he develops his bishop. I push d4. I'm blocking my dark square's line, but unlike last game, my light square, bishop has an eye on his h-pawn. If I can kick this knight, double my queen and my bishop, maybe I can get checkmate here. But I do think it is a very tactical move for me to play this knight and then play it back. Mm, I'm sure the computer might agree, might not. We'll take a look um, after the game. Computer probably has a totally different thought, but we'll see. My opponent is taking a while to think. What are they going to do? This knight can't move, his bishop can't move. Um... I, I don't... I guess he's just trying to break the tension in the center. This this move did worry me because I was afraid he would close off my um, my line or my my vision for my bishop. So I take a while to think as well, and I'm thinking perhaps if I can get my knight onto this square and then push my f-pawn, I'll be fine. 
and I'll be able to castle, and then my rook will have the open f file. I even admit to him, I, I think this is a hard position. I feel I'm winning, but I think I, I mess it up with this. Even though I think it's a good strategy, or, you know, it's, it's hard for, like, a uh, computer to get inside people's heads. Uh, I, I'm just trying to get inside his head. And maybe even I'm threatening this. I don't know. He just decides to take. He snapped this decided after I thought for a minute. So it worked out in my favor. Again, both of our... This is a pretty symmetrical position. I, I like my knight better. His knight's not doing too much. Can't really move. But, um, I believe he actually finds the, nope, not yet. So he's attacking this knight, which I believe I pulled back, I don't know. I do want my bishop on the b1, so I guess I say I don't care, you want to open up my f file, be my guest. Well, I'm hoping he pulls his bishop back so I can advance this bishop to a3 and i on e7. Because that might give me a check later. e7 is just a powerful square. It's very, If I can get control of e7, I can win. That's what's going through my head, at least. Um, also... If he moves this knight, I can check him and get a check, checkmate. So, if this, this knight's gone. So, that's my thought process there. He's thinking now, after I moved his, um, I must have missed a move. Oh, he moved his knight, then I moved my queen. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, he decides to go with the knight. It's a, it's a good play. His knights are both two hops from my <laughs> second rank. So, I continue to go ahead with the plan I had earlier. Stopping, stopping checkmate. He was threatening mate. I had to react. I could have blocked with the knight, but I like where my knight is. Again, putting pressure on e7. <sighs> so... He's in thinking mode. He's trying to figure out a way to attack my king. And it's just pretty difficult for him. Um, he's just centralizing a rook. I don't think this rook moves the rest of the game. Not sure. Might. I'm again still thinking of pushing this f pawn. Or I'm looking at this. Still looking at e7. So I play on the e file. I'm hoping he trades. I want this. If this pawn's staying here, I want a rook protecting it. Hmm. 
when he pushed h5, I was very confused. I, I don't want it to get down here. So I think I can block with the knight. I could push the F file. And I'm thinking of playing H4. Which I do. And I don't know what the computer thinks, if that's a good move or a bad move. Um, I think at the moment it's fine. Because if he takes with the knight, I could just take back with the knight and he has no follow. I, I just don't want to give him very much activity. That was a beautiful move by him. Getting rid of my knight and a defender on this pawn. And I'm really at a loss at what to do right now. I consider creating the rooks. So I'm hovering over the rook. But uh, it's a tough position because that's my only defender on this pawn. Granted, I can always take back with the pawn, but. He's threatening mate and one with where my king is. So, I think long and hard. Uh, it's a tough one. But, what do I do? See, right now he has one, two three defenders and I only have two defenders if I put a piece and check him. So I, I really want to be aggressive and take control of E7 but I can't. <laughs> no matter how many times I try the math in my head it just doesn't work. So I decide to protect this pawn twice or this space or give my king escape spaces um, maybe with ideas of h1 later, if he does go for this sacrifice. I didn't want to lose my knight, but I didn't really have a choice. Pulling it back just to make sense. I couldn't justify pulling the knight back and just taking more possible escape squares. I also want to keep the pressure on e7 in case he does take. Because he does have some devastating attacks. His clock is running dangerously low though at uh, 240. He now only has a quarter of his time left, and it's a very complicated position, very um, strategical. So, I'm just making sure uh, chess wasn't messing up. That's why I reload it. Sometimes chess uh, will disconnect me from a game. I don't know why it just happens. So... King G2 move confused him, and he went with his initial plan to take, and he's doing this sack. He's close to checkmating, but he doesn't quite have it yet.
Do you see? I think of putting my rook on this h file, but or even the g file, and um, yeah, this is tough. I mentioned it earlier. That's why I moved the king up to begin with. I'm thinking this knight's doing nothing. I could grab that, but he would just take back with the rook. But recall how I said he had uh, three defenders and I only had two if I put a piece there. Now it's one to one, so if he takes my bishop, he loses a rook. Which might have been fine for him. I'm not sure. We'll have to check the engine, but who knows? I really, uh, I thought this move was great. An att discovered attack on the queen, I take. You know, I thought the move was just perfect. I didn't see where I blundered. He has one minute remaining. So he, if he's a 10 minute player, this is when the clock starts to tell him you have no time. So he actually found a wonderful move. And it's only wonderful because I see free material and I believe I snap take here. But that doesn't concern him. In fact, he can checkmate me in just a couple moves. I sit here and I think, I, I'm actually curious if I want to take with my queen, but if I take with the queen, he takes with the queen, and it's just checkmate right away. So, I consider resigning. I even tell him I can't believe I screwed that up, because I thought I was in a great position. Me moving the bishop cuts off all these escape squares for my king. This is rook is eyeing it. So it it was a great thing. He he just was low on time. Um and he blunders it back to me. I I was so upset. I I, I couldn't believe it. I even typed it. I can't believe that I screwed up. But such is life. I just decide to move and hope somehow he does not checkmate me. I figure if I give my queen up for free, I, I'm just lost, so might as well move and pray. He didn't spot checkmate this time, so I'm moving here, hoping he doesn't spot it again. All he has to do is queen h2. <laughs> hey, you, sometimes you get lucky. What's he, what's he end up doing here? He takes my rook. Which gives me plenty of time. As you see, the one minute comes on, and that's when people start to get nervous. In ten minutes, especially. I actually miss a checkmate. Just because when I see that red thing, I get nervous. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't happen to everybody. But... All I had to do was play h8, and he was checkmated. But... I find a mate anyway. Nothing to worry about. And he resigns because after h7, his only legal move, I just take and it's checkmate. Okay, let's hop over to the engine.
Oh, whoa, whoa. Way too fast, way too fast. Okay. It's a pretty equal game so far. As you can see, the numbers on the right are the eval bar. So this is why I think uh, my next move, this night move, strategical, does the computer even, they have F3, they have D4, and the third move is C2, E2, which I play, that's what was played, next move, bishop, but they don't like d4. Hmm. I play d4. He pushes. It worked out for me, and they tell me go to c3 as the third move again. They still say f3 is better, but it's not a big deal. I did play the best move there, G, G, E2. Yeah, I don't understand why he moved that rook, but it happens. They don't like this move at all. I think it's a very human move, but... They, they would say just go e4 right away, yeah. And then I would play f3, but I, I certainly would not castle. That would have changed the game completely. They want me to take with the queen. No big deal. It's a pretty even game, though. They did not like that move. They really did not like that move. So what would the computer have done instead? Ah, uh, push it to f4, threatening my rook. Very smart. But, you know, monkey see, monkey do. That's why uh, he says, pretty much look at this setup. It's very, very similar. Um, the bishops, at least. The two pawns versus one. I mean, it's just a it's a very symmetrical game. That's why there's hardly any difference. They hate this move, but hey, it's whatever. At least I have an idea, and I'm threatening something in the future. They really did not like his knight move either. They hate my move. I, I think my idea is great. <laughs> the computer is really not liking this play, but this is human play, so. Very slight edge. This game has been within one point either way the whole game, pretty much. I don't think I've seen the eval bar hop over, too. They hate my move. <laughs> they absolutely hate my move. But that's okay. It's not that bad. They dislike his move. And then they recommend I take on e8, play e3, or play c1 again. However, I do this. And now the eval bar jumps heavily for him. He spent a lot of time calculating this, too. 
that bishop takes move. Um, if you guys recall, I take. He does the proper thing with the sacrifice. I do the proper thing, but look at this. I know the eval bar. You see the eval bar is saying he needs to play h2 with check now. You know? Or else he loses his advantage. He has no other move except h2 with check. He plays it. Now, again, the eval bar might be saying one thing, but if he doesn't play g6, pushing the pawn up, then, yeah, if he doesn't play g6 right now, he loses the advantage. So, it's just, it is, um, he doesn't, he pulls the queen back. Now, I, I don't play this perfectly either. I do play e7 perfect. They want him to take with the rook. After this, I can do one of a bunch of moves. But one thing I cannot do is the thing I do. Mate in two. Oh, no. No, 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 no. So... He finds the first part of the mate. So let's go back here. He needs to checkmate me or he loses. <laughs> That's pretty much what's happening. Like again, eval bar, main two. He needs to find checkmate. Even if I take with the queen, he checkmates. Otherwise, he just has to play h2. I even told him about it. Now he, he can do two things. You know, he can mate me in two or whatever, but... If not, he's losing. Made him one. Still can't find h2. Apparently this square does not exist. Square does not exist. It's all he has to do. And of course, I follow up. I missed my mate too, so I can't blame him. I'm not perfect, but I still got a checkmate. I wonder if he had one more move or more time. If he wasn't down to 20 seconds on the clock, would he have found it? Who knows? Anyway, I was sweating that one, but we won. So, catch you on the next vid. Like and subscribe.